Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Satisfactory 1.0 gameplay. Since our last episode, I've done quite a lot. Uh, I've made an entirely new factory building slash platform, which is where we will be doing um, probably everything that we need for the rest of the game, I hope, because we've been running out of room over here. I've done a few more things over here as well. We set up a drone platform with some fuel just so we can rush. This is to help us rush rocket fuel. And then I also set up uh, right here some AI limiters and then I set up supercomputers because those require AI limiters, computers, high speed connectors and plastic. And I wanted supercomputers because that unlocks a lot of the technologies at this tier. And then the AI limiters need to be automated because they go in things. So those are done. And what else did I do? Um, I did some more exploration, collected some more things, got some more alternate recipes. Mm, I think that's pretty much it. So we're really close to rocket fuel. In fact, I got lucky. So as we were, as I was looking at some of the alternates, I got another rocket fuel recipe that doesn't require nitric acid, but instead just requires nitrogen, gas, and fuel and some sulfur and some coal. So that's actually gonna be something we can make at the nitrogen deposit. Previously, I had thought we were gonna to have to make nitric acid, which requires, oh, by the way, I made the hover pack. As you can see, I'm hovering. Um, <laughs> I don't think I had made that uh, by the end of the last episode. But yeah, I've done most of the researches for tier seven and eight. Mostly just kind of grabbing the items from what we had. There's one more for turbo motors that I don't have, or two more. So we still have nuclear power and particle enrichment, but we've done all these researches. Um, and yeah, the hover pack was cheap once we had aluminum going. And then I got the hazmat suit going and made some iodine filters. So now I am safe from uh, radioactivity, at least for a bit. And... Yeah, the nitric acid is unlocked here, but I needed 50 turbo motors for that. So I was basically working my way towards making turbo motors to then get this research so I could then make nitric acid for rocket fuel. But then we got the alternate and I don't even need to do that anymore. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head to the east and I need my long distance packaged liquid biofuel. And yeah, we're gonna head to the east and go make some rocket fuel. I should have everything else we need in the dimensional depot. Yeah, it took me a little bit of time to build this platform, I won't lie, but I wanted more room and I didn't want to build a second floor or a third floor on that building. I felt like that building had run its course. I wanted a bigger one. This is 35 by 35 and I can extend it even further that way. The plan is to bring the bus down that middle area. So, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we've got our turbo fuel power plant just over here. Uh-oh, I am starting to run out of juice. All right, where am I? Where's my nitrogen? I think it's just over, over the hill here. Yeah, it's just over here. <laughs> the liquid biofuel is so... such low vertical acceleration. And when I was exploring, I think I was able to place down like four or five more uh, geothermals. So I have quite... why is this so slow? Hold on. Uh, we have a problem. 150 a minute. That's not the miner. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're good. This is what I thought we were looking at. That wasn't enough. And I was getting concerned. So, yeah. Way down there in the distance, you can see our 20, 20 gigawatt power plant production. Uh, what is... I don't know what that is floating in the air over there, but where's my nitrogen? I thought it was right over here, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's over there. Okay. 
So yeah, with this nitrogen, we will be able to make rocket fuel. By the way, the homing rifle ammo, it's weird. It shows up. As I was exploring, I discovered that even though it shows up as three damage, and that's only two, these do less damage per shot. So I think that damage indicator is meant to be a generic like DPS meter, but it certainly does not do more damage per shot. <clears throat> per shot than the regular rifle ammo, which is a little bit disappointing. Hey, Laureen, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Looks like you've been playing RimWorld. Okay, so this is the pressurizer that's pressurizing. We got this little doodad set up, Tr trying really hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I might need to unpackage the fuel. So now I'm doing the alternate for rocket fuel here. So I need nitrogen gas. I need fuel. So we can hook up nitrogen and fuel. I can grab packaged fuel from the dimensional stuff. A long session of RimWorld, nobody died. Hey, that's that's always a good time. But yeah, you guys should go check out Lorraine Lama. She's great. Um, I was watching your, your Factorio stream a while back and it was very enjoyable. All right, so now we're unpackaging fuel. That should it should come out. Why is it not? Oh, is this backwards? Yeah, it's backwards. Classic. Classic. Packager. Face that way, please. <laughs> then we pipeline. Then we do unpackaging fuel. Then we throw that in. Factorio's based on idling and weird conversations. I mean, that's one way to put it, I guess. <laughs> All right, and then compacted coal. I'm just gonna hand, should I handcraft a little bit? Sure, right, I'll do an assembler crafting because then um, what I can do is summer sloop it and power shard it. And then we need coal, sulfur, that gets us compacted coal. But now we'll be doubling it, so that'll build up pretty fast in here. And then finally I need, oh, I'm sorry, I just need sulfur and coal separately. Oh, heck yeah. So I'll summer sloop that then, and then I need another packager to package the rocket fuel. Oh, we're doing it, we're doing it. Now you can't summer sloop the packager, sadly. And then, hook that up. And that's rocket fuel. You finished a versatile framework factory, but you immediately didn't need it anymore. Yeah, that's unfortunately how that works. That is unfortunate. That's why I just hand feed those things. Rocket fuel! Rocket fuel, burning it should use it. Okay, let's see how this does. Whoa! Oh yeah, this is the stuff. It looks like it burns at about the same rate as turbo fuel though. Still doesn't give you horizontal. They So I really think the turbo fuel and the rocket fuel should give you more sideways momentum from a standstill. It's still terrible, look at this. I like can barely move sideways. It's like walking speed. In fact, it's slower. I guess it's slightly faster than walking speed, but. You want this coffee cup so you won't spill it. You know, it's surprising, even with all this jetpacking around, even uh, pouring it sideways, it is an anti-gravity 
anti-gravity coffee mug. Okay, so I have some rocket fuel, and we're gonna have to go test uh, its effectiveness. All right, so for fuel, let me actually look at the numbers here. Wow, you can make a lot of rocket fuel in one manufacturer. So 250 fuel, 250 sulfur, and basically half and half, roughly, of coal and nitrogen, then give you, so it's like one, one, half, half makes three, roughly. It's kind of a weird recipe, but it's not bad. So let me get some more fuel in this guy. And then I'll just trash uh, the canisters if I can find them. They're there. Because I just want to make a little bit more here. Just enough to last me a hot minute. I'll feed the coal and sulfur. There we go. Take the compacted coal. And then we need more packaging. Sweet. Yes, hot minute, exactly like hot. Okay, so with this package rocket fuel, let's see how far... We're going to have to do some testing. Wow, it really it really zooms you. Yeah, we'll have to do some testing to see how far we can go. It might... I'm getting a sense that the liquid biofuel might still be better for long distance, but we'll see. Let's see if we can make it all the way home. It's kind of dangerous to do this, now that I think about it. Not knowing how far it can get me. I think we'll make it. I hope. It's close. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, I have a feeling the biofuel is going to get me further. But man, is that a nice vertical acceleration. A nice vet. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna test and see how high we can get against our old turbo fuel record. Ooh, it is time for ionized fuel now. Sprint mode on the zip lines are pretty great. Yeah, if you didn't know ziplines have a sprint mode, you need to hit the sprint key. I have it on toggle, um, so then you need to toggle it like while you're on the zipline. And there's no real indication whether it's on or off, other than you just paying attention to the speed. But yeah, yeah, Lorraine, totally get it. Yeah, raid and run is the way to do it. I mean, you stopped streaming because you needed to be done. So of course you gotta go. It's just what makes sense. I always raid and run. <laughs> All right, so I have made it to that top one with just the turbo fuel uh, power before. So let's see if we can make it with the rocket fuel. Kind of just getting my bearings here. Oh, I think we're gonna make it easy. Okay, so it definitely has more, more oomph to it than turbo fuel, wow. And the package liquid biofuel also is about the same as turbo fuel in terms of your max height because even though it lasts longer it the vertical acceleration is so much lower so, so yeah if i just do little tappy taps oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> There we go, now we're talking. Oh my goodness. 
That is some serious, that is some serious altitude. Okay, so rocket fuel's great. Um, now we need to check distance. So, where's an easy, easy spot? Let's go, let's just go this direction. So we'll run off the corner of this platform straight west and we'll see how far we can go. Just no, no crouch jumping, no nothing, just regular running speed. And we'll just go as far as we can with little, little poofs. that rock there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's how far we got with turbo fuel. I don't know how to mark it. We'll do turbo, or turbo fuel, uh, rocket fuel. We'll do three power pulls to mark that, you know, like level three. And we gotta go back. Gotta science it. And then we'll switch to the competitor packaged liquid biofuel. And we shall see how far this can go. All right. Oop, I wasn't going exactly west. It's close enough. I'm thinking this is going to get us farther. Just because it has such a long burn time. Oh, yeah. Well... I was hoping rocket fuel would be a little better at the long distance, but it's not. Well, there's a purple slug down there. I see you. Uh, so now the thing to find out is, is rocket fuel even better than turbo fuel? Or is it truly just for getting that, that quick vertical acceleration? Let's find out. Final test. Turbo fuel. Let us see. I think I think rocket fuel is going to beat out turbo fuel. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So rocket fuel is like a strictly better turbo fuel. But that being said, packaged biofuel is still the best way to really go those long distances. Got it. Okay, I'm happy with that. Wow, it's just crazy how fast it makes you go up. That is, it's like enough to damage you if you bonked your head on something. Very much enough to damage you. Okay, so then I need... What do I need to do? I probably want to work towards phase four slowly. We need to automate turbo motors, I think. Oh, yeah, this was me making fluid tanks. Um, in fact, I should make a few more. Let's... Just to make sure we have enough rocket fuel... Oh, that didn't work. Make sure we have enough rocket fuel for a while. Head over to our aluminum ingots. We could always bring nitrogen over with the drone. That's one thing I was thinking about doing. Uh, but let me grab some aluminum ingots, which should just be chilling in these. Yep. Hey, Acid Burn Blue, thanks for the follow. I 
need another little launcher over on that section. So down here, don't ask me why I do all of this stuff right here. I guess it's because it's next to the hub, it just makes sense. Oh yeah, I was looking at the assembly director systems. We're going to need to make more adaptive control units, unfortunately. We'll have to maybe automate those. I was making a few crystal oscillators here because I still haven't automated those. That's one thing I might automate. Um, I might actually do that on the first floor of my factory building because that's where reinforced iron plates are. And I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have any alternates. Oh, and I need to make heat sinks for cooling systems, so we're still a few steps away from that. Because heat sinks are copper sheets and aluminum sheets. So yeah, we've got a lot to do. Um, and then the cooling systems, where are they? I haven't even unlocked them yet. All right, we got a lot to do to finish this phase. Wait, neither of those have cooling systems. What are the cool, are the cooling systems not made in the manufacturer? Oh, they're made in the blender. Because they need nitrogen and water. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, I think I'm going to use drones for packaging nitrogen gas, and we're going to transport it that way. Uh, let's start working on this stuff. How's it going, Butch? 1982. Welcome, welcome. So I need super computers. Oh, only 50. Uh, heavy modular frames. Cable. Oh, my inventory is a hot mess. Um, so many random things. Where did all these come from? Probably from deconstructing belts and moving them around when I was connecting things. All right, cable and concrete. That gets most of it done at least. I set up some more concrete depots cuz it was just so slow when I was trying to build, you know, whatever 35 times 35 is, well over a thousand foundations there. Uh, I need a little bit more concrete input. So, I set up, I think I now have three or four depots for concrete. So we can see that that fills up a bit faster. It looks like three, yeah. So that's nice. And then, let's see. The problem is I just need so many things right now. Let's look at the crystal oscillators. Oh, I totally bonked. Because I think we can do the crystal oscillators in this corner. The problem is going to be with the cable. It's a lot. It's a lot of cable. Um, and I'm actually considering something like coded cable. Is that crazy? Maybe but it would actually get us enough for our crystal oscillators. Fourteen a minute for that. Caterium wire in the cable works too, but I'm already using my caterium pretty heavily. The problem with coated cable is it's made in a refinery, which I can't do right here. So, I'm kind of screwed no matter how I slice the dice right now. Um, and I doubt I can fit 
Uh, we can fit manufacturers back here, actually. So let's do that. We'll kind of work our way backwards and just hope for the best. Um, so these shall be... Crystal oscillators. And... And then we'll do that. So... We need quartz crystal, about 30 cable a minute. I mean, two a minute is so bad, though. And I'm gonna need those radio control units. Ugh. Hmm. I might need a summer sloop, whatever's using these things. Yeah. Wait, is that all the... What else are they used in, I wonder? Um, for now, we'll call it good enough. We just need to get them... We need to get them rolling. So... So now I need cable. And... Quartz crystal. And what was the other thing? Quartz crystal and... Reinforced plates, that's right. So the reinforced plates, we can bring right here. Let's just do Let's just go right here. And yeah, it's so weird not having any sideways acceleration with rocket fuel. I don't, I don't understand why they didn't at least add a little bit. It, it's literally zero better than the other fuels. So you have this insane vertical momentum, but like your character doesn't know how to lean forward and transfer some of that vertical momentum into horizontal. It just feels kind of weird. Okay, so there's the reinforced plates. You know what? I could just bring them from right here. That might be easier. Because that's already reinforced plates, right? Yes. So reinforced plates are already there. There's already wire um, right here for stitched plates. So I can just use that. So that wire just needs to be turned into cable. And then we just need to bring over quartz crystals. Which are somewhere. Which, which one are they on? There's a right here. So quartz crystals. I'm not lining that up perfectly with something, but that's okay. There's quartz crystals. The splitters don't stack on the elevator. Uh, what do you mean they don't stack on the elevator? Like when you make a lift, your splitters, you can't build them on the top like this? If that's not working, I have no idea how you would go about fixing that. Uh, I assume that's what you're talking about there. Basically, the, the trick to get things to link up is that you put a splitter or merger on top of the lift. You make a dummy lift, and then you make a merger or splitter there, and then often that will let you snap on onto a belt properly. Um, but I don't really know how to help you debug that process if it's not working for you. I'm guessing there's a step you're missing. I guess it's also technically possible that there's just something about some people's setups that that wouldn't work for some reason. I don't know. It should work. It works for me, but that doesn't necessarily prove anything. 
All right, so there's that. Um, and then we're bringing over... Oh, I need to make cable. So I should probably keep these out of the way. I'm over here. Oh, I guess it goes this way. That's why it wasn't wanting to link. Okay, and then you come to there. Okay. Ingots. Copper sheet going back. There we go. Okay, and then I need my blueprint for Constructors X8. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to just remove this entirely because they both need copper ingots. So I can just send... Or no, 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 this is cable. Shoot, never mind. Ugh, how many times do I they need that, the wire that's right there. I guess I'll do this three times in a row, that's fine. And I'll do it on the wrong level. Oh goodness. Look at that, it's a different squiggle. Um, so I think if we want it to look the same, we have to build it in the same order, which means I have to have the direction already decided so that I can build it like that to that. Yeah, that's super interesting. So when you're dealing with straight mode, the direction matters, and unfortunately you can't just reverse it with R like you can with lifts. Okay, so let's let's do something like this. And then we can bring over the reinforced plates. No. This hover pack makes me so mad in the same way that the jet pack in Factorio does. It, look at, it has way too much slidiness at the end, which makes it really hard to stop and move. I, it's so, I understand somewhat realistic, but it's just so frustrating to build with. I will, I will probably get a mod that fixes that. I'm sure there's a mod that fixes it and it really bugs me. It just means like you have to wait until you stop moving to actually build because often, you know, that last little bit of movement changes where you're trying to build. Ugh, it's so annoying. Um, anyway, constructors, X8. All right, so we need to go Somewhere over here. Somewhere over the rainbow. And then we bring the wire over to here, I think. And then this will be cable. Okay, uh, we do need to power it up, which that actually works fine. And then select the recipes. Oh, I have way too much cable. I forgot how fast cable was. Um, Jesus, uh, that's so much cable. 
I'm only going to be using 36 a minute. I guess we're going to be speeding these up. That'll make use of a little bit more cable. Now that's 60 a minute. Oh wow, that's funny. Oh well. Maybe someday we'll need it. Alright, and then we gotta power this guy up. If you hold control, it doesn't get pinned over the oven? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you mean. If you follow the steps exactly like I do them in the video, it, it should work. I, I'm not aware of, you know, bugs that mess with stuff like that, but there certainly could be. Again, it's really hard to debug over delayed text chat in a in a YouTube. You're best off probably asking for help in the Discord with pictures, things like that. But hey, we got crystal oscillators. Praise be. All right, and then we'll bring the oscillators back and put them on the bus. Which... Where can I put them? I think there's nothing on the top of this one. But I've put quite a few things on the bus. I put the aluminum stuff on the bus. I put my HMFs and computers on the bus. Um, there's still a few empty slots. Like the bottom one is empty. I guess slot number four is empty right here as well. But I think I'll put them on the top of this outer one. Which means I don't actually have a spot to bring them up. I'm gonna have to just squeak through here. Squeak through, that's a mod for Factorio. So, crossolators are coming. You know what? Maybe I should. This uh, lift. Bring them down. To the same level. Ugh, oh, this is where the hover pack's really annoying is when you're trying to build on the right side of one of these. Is that clip? Uh, technically. Is it bad enough to care? No, it's not. Um, okay, so maybe one, two. Oh gosh, I think I lost where I need it. But we have straight mode, so that saves us. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to need a floor hole underneath the top layer for this one. So like right here. One over. That should do it. That should put oscillators on the top of the map. Ta-da! Wow. Okay. So crystal oscillators are officially automated, and I've already carried the bus to here. I still have a lot of work to go to get it all the way onto the other platform, but we will get there. I'll bring in nitrogen, probably not here, 
what I might do is put that packaged fuel onto the bus. I may have a sec. I may bring another set. I don't even know. Um, but I'll probably bring packaged fuel over. I'll probably bring heavy oil residue over. I think it's just tough without knowing what all I'm gonna need. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this is still working. Um, the the final setup I went with for the byproduct water, and this is the setup we'll use for things like nitric acid and sulfuric acid or wherever we have the output being the same as the input. You actually take the output, the byproduct water, or whatever it is you want to prioritize highly, and you put it up into a buffer. Uh, low enough that it you know, can get there and still fill up a little bit, but high enough that it's higher than the low priority water. Then the low priority water, you have your, your pump. And then I don't know if this valve is doing anything or not. I need to test some more. Theoretically, it shouldn't be because I thought pumps already limited it to be one way. Uh, so that valve might be superfluous, but I'm scared to remove it because it might break things. Oh yeah, and then you merge your output with the input before it enters uh, any of the buildings. And this has been working properly. It has always prioritized this. I've even removed this pipe and basically let this completely fill up. And then I add the pipe back in. And if it were possible to break, it would break at that point because basically this is like already backed up and things had stopped but it actually like worked its way out of the bad cycle. So that means that it's never going to get into a bad cycle. Um, so at least in this case, this system worked. I don't know, that doesn't mean I understand everything about fluids, heck no. But I do at least know that that works. Okay, so what am I actually doing? Let's go back and finish our nuclear power research. have to work on turbo motors, I guess. Turbo motors, radio control units, heat sinks, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so I need some more frames. I need some more cable. And we need more concrete. There we go. Nuclear power! Milestone reached. The nuclear power plant produces nice. dangerous radioactive nuclear waste. Fix it reminds you that any extra limbs resulting from exposure <laughs> to radiation are also contracted to work on project assembly. Yes, they are. Fix it also reminds you that willful exposure to radiation will not result in any bonuses regardless of how many functional limbs it produces. Project part number seven, the magnetic field generator, should enter production as soon as possible. Any unnecessary delays will be noted. Okay, so... Uranium fuel rods use 50 of these encased cells, which is sulfuric acid, concrete... Yeah, this is where drones might be nice. Oh, so here's a sulfuric acid loop. You know, you need to bring in some, but you get some right back. So you, I, I will use the same method I just showed you for that. Um... Interesting. And then we need to make the ECRs <sighs> with stators and AI limiters, which is basically mm, I don't like any of that. Um, I'm liking my bus less and less. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say. Oh, goodness. Um. Let's maybe put one more thing on the bus before we go to the new building. I can fit some more stuff here. Maybe I need to make... Well, AI limiters aren't on the bus. I guess that's what we need. We need AI limiters to be on the bus. Uh, 
What would be best is if I could just get the electromagnetic control rods themselves on the bus. Um, how do I open the codex entry from here? Can I? Maybe I can't. Electromagnetic control rods. So those are used in uranium fuel rods in the project assembly thing and probably some alternates. Good gracious. They're used in a lot of things. Maybe just alternates, but they're certainly used in a lot of things. So I actually think automating them is going to be worth it. Where am I doing? Okay, so AI limiters are here. Um, wait, what? Oh, did I sloop the AI limiters? That's what I slooped. Okay, I don't need to do that anymore. I think the problem had been I was out of quick wire because I was using basically all the stuff that needed quick wire at the same time. Um, okay, so yeah, the AI limiters are here. They're not on the bus. So this could be a good place for the control rods because I already have the AI limiters. So then I just need to make some staters. Or statters. Problem is that needs wire and steel pipes. And I don't think steel pipes are on the bus anymore, are they? I do have copper ingots. I don't seem to have wire anymore. Oh, I do have wire. Oh, I have wire and steel pipes. Okay. Right here. Right where I can't split them off easily. Um, so I'll split them off in a different spot. And then we'll bring them over here. You can always stack things higher. That's my motto anyway. And then... Gotta rebuild that one, otherwise it looks weird. Okay. So this will be steel pipe and wire. Or could I just bring the staters over? Now there's a thought. What if I just bring the staters over from motors? How many are we making? Can I can I power shard some things? Um What are we doing here? So I've got three assemblers running, so I'm making 15 a minute. If I... my power shard, I could get like another 15 a minute. And that would get me... enough for two and a half of these running. No, I think I want to set up some more staters over there. I'm probably going to run out of wire somewhere. Part of me just wants to move to a drone-based base. You know, just use logistics for everything. I'm curious, actually, uh, like, how far... How far does fuel get you? You know, if you were going on like a short trip, a very short trip like this, how much fuel is this gonna take? I just need to know. This port, port name. How do you change the port name? Like 276 meters. Um. Oh, it's not going to tell me? Interesting. Huh. Because don't you only need... I need to put launchers here. Don't you only need to have the... fuel on one end now? That's a thing. Is this angled? That's angled. Alright. Which I can't 
can't imagine what a Mark VI belt is going to feel like. It's going to be so great. Okay, so if we're over here, and then I hit that button, it still isn't showing me. Okay. Destination. Seven per round trip. Okay. That's quite a lot, actually. It's 15 fuel a minute. Interesting. Whoa. <laughs> it's doing some weird stuff. Alright, um... Maximum transfer rate, 4.14 stacks per minute. I could... I could use this as another sort of bus lane. I could put a bunch of low throughput items, kind of treat them like sushi, sort them all out on the other end, and then sink whatever's overflow. Um, like I could put my electromagnetic control rods in here. And then, heck, I could have an extension to the floor over here, a little extra overhang platform, do some more processing over there for maybe turbo motors. I don't know, I already have everything else on the bus. Let's just do this. Let's just do this, okay. Um, so I will need some assemblers, some assemblers required. I think here, put over, and I think right there. Will there be room enough for two, though, is the problem. No, there won't. Alright. So this will be statters. Is it statters or staters? I keep meaning to look it up. They both sound correct to me, and I say one or the other, depending on my mood. Um, so we need to bring in wires and pipes, and then AI limiters and statters will get me the control rods. So we'll do that right here as well. <laughs> Blueprints, assemblers. Yeah, I think we'll just line these two up, because why not? So I need to bring in steel pipe and wire. Do that on top of this guy. Zoop. And now it's time that I want this back. I kind of wish there was a hotkey to switch uh, between jetpack and hover pack. I understand why there's not. It would be a little too convenient, but I feel like I switch often enough that it would be nice. All right. Uh, do we want to face that way? No, that doesn't even work. Is that? That's annoying. Um, if I come back a couple tiles. <sighs> this hovering man, it's gonna kill me! It's so helpful to be able to hover, but it's so unhelpful to have momentum that doesn't stop very quickly. Okay, that one works. 
This other one is probably not going to work, though, because it's going to need to go out further. What's the best way to do this, actually? Probably come off the side. That's minor clipping, just the frames. The items won't be clipping. I accept. I accept the clippage. Alright, uh, power. Do that. And then we need the wire and the pipe. And I guess we're going here with that. So many random items. Oh my gosh. Um, and this plastic is going to fuel for the drone, which maybe not necessary. Oh, batteries they use a lot less. Do hover packs connect to railroads? Uh, that's a good question. CCTV? I don't actually know the answer to that. Um, yeah, I have no idea. No idea. Okay, here's the two things I need. So, I need a splitter right here. That's a little, that's a little iffy. Um, let's see, one, two, three, two. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, a little better, but still not good enough. Sometimes I wonder if the bus is the problem or if this is just how satisfactory is played <laughs> with large amounts of items. I feel like I might have been better off putting items on trains, you know, and then I then I have trains running around kind of being the bus. Um, the problem then is now you have trains with items all over the place and where do they live i don't know how train stackers work so do you need a bunch of random train stops i guess you'd make a blueprint for a train stop with a train and then it would go i guess it would go deliver at all the things that need that item and then come back and then just loop around um, and if you needed more rate, you would need a second train for that item. I don't even know. There's so many things I, I don't understand about how that would work. Um, okay. So now I need to bring over the AI limiters, which are right here. this belt so that we can make a splitter. Oh, there's already a splitter right there. Hey, 
Hey, Vladimir. Um, hope you're doing well. The global grid, you just hold control. You don't need any upgrades for it. If you're building a foundation, you just hold control while you're building it out in the world, and it'll be on the global grid. So, uh, that's it. It is that simple, truly. No, it goes up from here to here. And then from here... Go to like there and that one too. Okay, so that's AI limiters. And we're just gonna go behind all this stuff. Staters. Like that. Bring over the AI limbs. The ales. You could call them. Perfect. And then these come over and down. Alright, we're almost there. Just need some power. I'll do floor power. Never go wrong with floor power. It's almost like having powered foundations. <laughs> Simple as pie anodons, which is not. <laughs> All right. Uh, electromagnetic control rods. Nice. Sweet. Okay, well that's relatively painless. He says, after having to connect five million things. Um. Surely that's gonna be clippy. Yeah, that's clippy. I think I need to go up. That first. And that should be pretty pretty safe. Yeah. Alright. Go there. And then then what? Then I guess we go over to here. Up. No! Hover pack! Dinkleberg. Alright. You know, I'm gonna say that's fine. Nobody has to know. You guys didn't see anything. All right, that'll do it. And then where do we want to put them? Um, maybe right here? On 2-6? Two, two or we could put it on 1-1? One one, or 1-4? One now let's keep one for more basic stuff. So the fourth one's already full. Are circuit boards even needed in more places? See, this is the problem. I, I, I might have lots of things on here that are never going to get touched again. Um, par I'm partly not Googling these things on purpose, you know? See, I am going to need circuit boards for an alternate of radio control units, but not for regular radio control units. And I will need them for adaptive control units, which I probably will... Will I automate more of those? I don't know. I'll only need like a thousand. Because the adaptive control units make the assembly director systems, but I, you better bet I'm going to be slooping those. So I'm only going to need 
500 of these to make 500 of those for phase four. And that's not that bad, because 500 of these is only 500 computers, 250 frames, uh, 1250 circuit boards, and 1250 automated wiring, which is a lot of cable. I might do the alternate for that, just because it's smaller numbers of stuff. Uh, anyway, that's not what I'm dealing with right now. What I'm dealing with right now is where am I putting... These are all full too, right? Yeah. See, like, steel ingots. I probably don't need steel ingots on here. I probably should have made... Hmm. Maybe I should take them off? Steel ingots only go into pipes, beams, and maybe an alternate for something like plates. So yeah, I think I'm going to make the executive decision to cut off steel ingots at the source, which is probably way back here. Way back here. Um, but where do they get used for the last time? I guess that's what I have to pay attention to. Do they get used up here at all? Did I make more pipes with them? These are the questions we must answer. It looks like I never have anything being split off. Yep, there's not one there. Not one here. Yeah, I literally don't do anything with steel ingots. Hey, DJ Maverick, uh, you unlocked the hover pack in tier seven, right? Yeah, I think tier seven. Um, and to make it, you need computers, motors, heavy modular frames, and all clad aluminum sheets, which you might have been able to get from drop pods, so you might not need to make aluminum. But aluminum is basically what you need. Okay, so here's where we're taking steel off. So I can literally just disconnect that, and that should be that should be it for steel. And then what's the easiest way to get rid of it? Probably to come to the end here. Plop a storage container. And just vacuum it all up. Oh, wait, better idea. Better idea. I do need power for that though. have power up here. Okay. So that'll get rid of all the steel, and then we'll put the electromagnetic control rods on that belt once it's done. Shouldn't take too long. I have 16 more coupons. Why not? That brings us to 67. What new exciting things can we buy today in the awesome shop? So what do we got? We got the factory cart. I should get that. I haven't gotten it yet. We got boombox tapes and the boombox. We've got statues. I could get the silver hog. No, but let me get the rest of the stuff. Display signs. A light control panel. Um, I could get more patterns. And we got all the foundations, we got all the walls, we got all the architecture. Oh, I could get more filters in here. Sweet. I can always get rocket fuel with coupons, but that's a lot of coupons for a hundred package rocket fuel. Jeez. I don't know if we're going to be spending that much. 
The Fixit Factory card navigates on Fixit Foundation surfaces with extreme efficiency. Not intended for use on hazardous terrain, mildly hazardous terrain, reasonably safe terrain, or general terrain. <laughs> Fixit reserves the terrain. right to subtract damage to or loss off vehicle from your Save the Day Completion bonus package. For more information about this bonus package, please visit our information booth in Error, Error, Earth, open on the first Tuesdays and Wednesdays of the month, between 6.25 a.m. and 6.53 a.m. Classic. It's open for 20 minutes only. That sounds about right. Um, all right, so we're going to put that there. We're going to need one of these guys. Bring in the ECRs. And then we're putting it on here. All right, that should do it. Sweet, ECRs. All right. That is a lot of stuff on the bus. We'll have to get that connected at some point. Um, wow, we're already at an hour and 11 minutes for this recording. Gosh, these episodes just fly by. I feel like I get one thing done. We're just doing big projects these days with all of our resources. So now what? I should probably stop the drones from running. They're just wasting time. Um, come on over here. Are those just all running? These are all running. Okay. Oh, I see. I would need to overclock by 20% so that they match. Might as well. So that way we're getting the full... Well, I don't even know if I have that many AI limiters is the problem. Do I have 12 AI limiters a minute? Um, those are made right here? No, those are... These are... No, those are supercomputers. Uh, these are AI limiters. They make 8 a minute each, so yeah. We should be getting 24 a minute. Up to. But that's a lot of quick wire is the problem. So, yeah, we got all sorts of problems. Wire is very slow, because um, you can only fit so much on one belt. It's part of the problem. So, I probably should upgrade the wire belt to Mark V, but I don't really have the... I don't have the energy for that right now. I think what we want to do is work on probably the plutonium research. Fire some turbo motors. And that'll be the last upgrade. Oh, I should keep doing hard drives too. What do we get? What do we get? Uh, leached iron ingot and turbo heavy fuel. I don't like either of those. All clad casings is interesting. It's basically a way to turn copper into aluminum, but the main reason this is interesting is look at that production rate. So this is a place where you can get really effective summer sloop multiplication, right? Because if you power shard this, that's like 260 a minute on one assembler. And then all you need is two summer sloops to get 260 a minute more for free. So that's the only reason I would probably use that because we already have lots of aluminum and aluminum is pretty cheap. Um, so I'll probably just leave that one because I don't love those. I think we will do sloppy alumina at some point because then we don't have to deal with the quartz. And this would be an easy place to double again if we want to uh, use a couple sloops. And then aluminum beams starts to look interesting. Uh, but the problem is we're not using beams anywhere. 
because we're using the encased industrial pipe recipe instead and we're not making steel screws so I'm, I'm not even using these beams all sorts of interesting choices to make but we still got nine more drives I don't need to deconstruct that but yeah our final tier 8 research requires three things we're not producing so turbo motors Fused modular frames, which just needs nitrogen, and then we can make it. Cooling system, which needs nitrogen and heat sinks. And turbo motors, which needs the cooling system and the radio. Uh, what are those called? Here, let me get rid of some crap. These I actually want to put in there. And I did finally get the upgrade for personal storage, so we can at least put three stacks of those just to sit in the cloud. I can grab them later. Um, but yeah, what are those things called? Radio control units? Yeah, so the radio control units need the oscillators. I think I'll do the radio control system because I need less oscillators. And it looks like a lot of circuit boards, but it's really not that bad. I mean, this needed one computer for each control unit, and this only needs 3.3 circuit boards for each control unit. So that's really not that bad, given that computers are three circuit boards anyway, or four circuit boards. That's actually cheaper in terms of circuit boards and computers require... I think I'm doing Caterium computers, which are pretty cheap in rubber. Senses, so... This is 10 rubber per piece instead of what would be 6 rubber, but then we're saving on all that Caterium. So, so yeah, I think the, the alternate for that's really good. It's also almost twice as fast. So yeah, let's, um... What do we do now? Should I make some nuclear stuff? I kind of want to get nuclear going, but the problem is there's a lot of... Um, not nuclear. Actually, will it tell me what it costs to build? Yeah, we already have supercomputers going, so I can build a nuclear power plant. Um, but yeah, the fuel rod. So... We've got the ECRs. We've got the encased beams. So sulfur and water. Basically, I need sulfur, water, uranium. Um, let's take a look at the map. I've built a few radio towers on my explorations, or radio towers, uh, radar towers. That's the word we're looking for. Um, can you search uranium? Okay, so I have uranium over by... Oh, yeah, we already knew that. Over by my bauxite. Um, and there's water right next to it? Let's, let's heck and do it. There's sulfur? There's even sulfur right up there for it, if I wanted to bring that over. But I'll probably just try... I'll probably try out... Um, just grabbing it from my inventory first. Just to get it running. We don't need to get it fully automated. And we could always use a drone to bring in some sulfur or something. You know, there's lots of options. Oh yeah, I did I did make a new version of the blueprint. I forgot to mention that. That has the Mark V belts. So that's nice. I'll switch over to the packaged liquid biofuel. And here we go. I don't think I got the speed. There we go. I guess I can ride the train if I want to. I don't know where it is right now. Uh, can't really. Oh yeah, it is back there somewhere. We'll see if it catches up with us. Ah, 
Ah, uh, do you guys remember when we built this? Good times, good times. You're totally gonna get run over. Here it comes. We'll see if we can catch a ride. Catch a ride. Here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is safe. Very safe. That actually wasn't that bad. I guess it's going a little slower uphill than downhill. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sir Moosin. Good old Borderlands. I'll just ignore that there's a movie that they tried to make. I mean, I haven't seen it, I've just heard it's terrible. I guess I can't really say much about it, other than everybody seems to hate it that's seen it. Alright, where actually is this uranium? It must be up. Or is it in a cave? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, this would be a good time for rocket fuel. You can see I did build a few of these uh, power towers, finally. I, it took me a million years to remember those existed. But they're really good for zip lining. And what's really cool is you can stand... You can stand on top of one of these with the platform, and then you can connect a power line to it, and you can build one, like, forever away, and then you can just hop on the zip line over there. So it's a really easy way to get... Uh, you know, to get around. Hello, my friend. I don't like you being right here. But you're kind of stuck. So that's nice. Get out of here. Alright, where's this uranium? Uh, rocket fuel still needs to be over here because I haven't automated it. I just, I just have some. Wait, where actually is the uranium? Real talk. Oh, it's to the south. Okay. It's... Wait a second. It's like right underneath me? Okay, maybe it is down in a cave with a box of scraps. Where is it? Those aren't explodable rocks, are they? I don't think they are. No. Hmm. I'm missing something. Where does uranium at? could be... You know, it would help if I scanned for it. I'd see the little ping. It's 300 meters underneath me. So it's underground. I see. I see. Okay. So I need to find an entrance to the tunnel. Which seem oh, hello friend. Uh, seems like that might be the entrance we want over here. Given there's a uranium rock. Oh my gosh, how many of you guys do there need to be? I'm just gonna ignore you. I'm just gonna move right on past. I bet you can't make it through that. How much we want to bet this ends in a uranium deposit? It's going the wrong way, though. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know what's going on. 
Of course, there's a giant spider. All that seems to be in here is a purple power slug. I don't see any other pathways either. Hmm. This is not the cave we were looking for. I don't know where the spider went. Oh, he's stuck. It's convenient. You deserve all the bullets. You are the worst. You might be worse than the radioactive hogs, even. I hate these things. They're so tough. And they do so much damage with their jumping attack. It's just... Alright, well this was not it, but I'm presuming there is a cave nearby that is it. Uh, let's go see. Mm, look for entrances to cave-like areas. up here, which we already know about. Don't get hit by the train. What an interesting... Where could this be? I wonder if it's in the... Isn't th There's like a highway that goes through the middle of the map. I wonder if it's in that... In this... Yeah, I bet it is. Um, like all the way down here. Yeah, if we go to this river, I bet if we follow that river, I bet that's where it is. I bet this leads to the to the uranium. So let me grab power. Bring power with us. Yeah, this is the underground road. Of course, there's lots of spiders along said road. Homing ammunition serves to make my life a bit better. Which I'm almost out of. Grab another 500 there real quick. Alright. Carry on. Carry on my way I'm pretty sure this is where we're wanting to be. What if there's a hard drive down here? That would be kind of awesome, but weird and silly because how would the crash site be down here? I don't know, but it would be cool. There's a purple power slug. Um, there's the uranium. I see it over there. Ouch. What just hit me? Slug. Man, the homing rifle is nice, even though there's less... I don't know if it's less damage, but it's maybe about the same amount of damage in one full clip. The homingness to it, I, I do feel like it's worth, worth it. And it just fires faster. So the DPS is certainly better. There's more. There's still more. Goodness. How many of you are there? Is that five? Alright, so we need. So where's this light coming from? Uh shadows are be to trust to be trusted is up there. Could I... could I blast out of here?
You know, another question is, can I get water down here? the odds. It would be kind of cool if you could get water right next to it. But I don't think you're going to let me put this in here, are you? It doesn't seem that way. Alright, fine. So let's get minor. Ooh, I can almost do the Mark Threes once I get those fused frames automated. And we're just gonna conveyor belt that out of this area. I will go ahead and power shard you to the max. That's 300 a minute. Uranium. And we'll just bring this to the foot of the cave. Or whatever we call this. Passage. Highway. Thing. I think at one point I remember seeing somebody that had like an entire truck highway under here like they had built foundations and roads and stuff like their trucks were going across the map through this little canyon highway thing passage underground underground passage that's what we call it now there may be enough water here for a pump Resource is not deep enough. What do you know? Hey, there we go. There we go. There's that water. Perfect. Okay, so... What's our first step? Uranium goes in a blender with sulfuric acid. Okay, so I need a refinery to make some sulfuric acid. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it right here. All right, so uranium plus sulfuric acid. You thought that episode was almost over when we were at an hour and eleven minutes? No, no, not even close. All right, so sulfuric acid. I'm just gonna grab some sulfur. Here we go. We'll, we'll sloop things up here, just to make my life a little easier. So there's some sulfuric acid going, and then we need a blender. Blendy Blendo. Blendy McBlenderson. Uh, right there. And we will go ahead and... I need to go over. And you're going to make encased uranium cells, which needs uranium, concrete. So I need, I need the crete. And we're going to sloop that as well for a minute. So are all the nodes located on the map true? I'm sure I found a uranium node that's not part of the wiki map. Um, I know they changed some nodes for 1.0, and maybe the wiki map isn't updated yet. I'm not totally sure, to be honest. Okay, so that's all good. Sulfur, everything's in here. Now I just need power. And there we go. Sweet. So there's encased uranium cells. Then those go with some beams and some rods in a manufacturer. Make uranium fuel rods. Sweet. And I need some sloops. I th how many do I have? 
I have 11 chilling in my depot. Why am I making uranium in a random cave? Why not? I'm trying to be like Tony Stark with a box of scraps, you know? Tony Stark did it in a cave with a box of scraps. Um, to be honest, I just want to make some fuel cells. That's, that's why. Speed that up. Speed that up. Oh, the output. The output. Um, so we're gonna have to bring this back around. Bring it around town. Why is it? What is going on with the the art for that? What the hell? Is it supposed to look like that? Can... Can... Do you need special pipes? Because it has sulfuric acid? Is that a thing? Or is this just, like, glitched out right now? <laughs> I'm actually curious. I could see it... I could see that being a mechanic that I don't know about. Um... I don't think... I think that's glitched out because it's on the it's on that too. Yeah, there's something weird with the graphics there. Okay, well anyway, basically I need to bring that. Let's see. We're gonna need to figure this out. The sulfur needs to basically come out in a straight line. It also has to come over this. Okay, so then we're gonna come over here. That's where there's gonna be a junction. That's gonna connect to that. And then here, we need to go up a little bit. Frame, what do I want? Big frame pillar. That might be too high. Probably too high. For our fluid buffer. Hmm, we'll see. And then I need to put a valve mark two that's not doing anything like that. Okay, so that should make the sulfur prioritize. Coming into that one, I hope. We'll see if it can get high enough. As long as I can make it in there, then I think we'll be okay. It seems like it seems like it is getting into that, and then it should flow out. And so it it should work. We'll see. Alright. Encased cells. I've already got five uranium fuel rods. Look at that. Wow, look at my iodine filters just melting away. Um, all right, just for fun, we're gonna we're gonna put one of these right here. Yeah, that fits. Um, <laughs> burn rate 0.2 per minute. So they last a while. some water, right? Yeah. And then it makes 10 per minute uranium waste. Oh, dear. That's fun. Uh, so I need some water. Okay. 
This is the jankiest... Probably the jankiest nuclear setup anyone's ever done. I'm pretty comfortable saying that. I mean... I don't know how you could make it jankier, to be honest. I mean, you could do like, let's game it out type stuff, but I, I wouldn't call that jank. That's more art. That's like intended on purpose ugliness to make it beautiful. All right. No power? What does that mean? Just no water? Probably. Oh, it needs 240 a minute water. I didn't know it needed that much water. Okay. Uh, let's see. Upgrade to Mark II. And then we're going to have to upgrade the uh, water pump here. Oh, I guess 300 a minute is the most it can pump out anyway. How much water do we need for our sulfuric acid? 50? Sulfur gets us two sulfuric acid, which gets us... Basically, we use four to make ten cells. And ten cells gets us... One-fifth of two point four uranium fuel rods. So... That's two minutes worth from... Two sulfur. Yeah, so two sulfur gets us two minutes. So one sulfur is one minute of nuclear fuel production. So if I were to grab 300 sulfur, that would be 300 minutes. That's five hours. Hey, thanks for the follow. Brony, CM. If I just do this, who needs, who needs more sulfur than that? And then as far as concrete is concerned, we need uh, three concrete. I don't know. I, I'm guessing I don't need that much. So... Uh, we're just gonna do this. That. And yes, I'll fix this, don't worry. And we have to trash that real quick, otherwise we use all our filters real fast. Have I unlocked signs with coupons yet? Yes, yes I have. Okay, so there's the uranium, and then we'll grab our concrete. Thirty-seven point five a minute. I guess we're not using this full rate though. We're only using fifty a minute. So we're actually using exactly. Okay. Uh, so that'll only last 33 minutes. That'll last 20 minutes. I definitely need more ECRs. Oh no, I didn't put the electromagnetic control rods into... Uh, into a dimensional depot. Shoot. Oh, but that's producing more than we need already. <laughs> yeah, Parley. I might wait till my next stream, though. I'm pretty close to being done for today. This is going to be the end of the episode now that we've got it running. Look at this. An easy 2.5 gigawatts with the jankiest solution ever. And now I just need to put the uranium waste somewhere. So how about something like this? <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. I love it. I just wanted to say we've got nuclear power going. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, you're right. I can do more. I can shard. I can shard it. 
problem is the water is then 600 a minute. So I can't really shard it. I don't have enough water. Yeah, definitely proof of concept. And this will run for... It's currently got enough for 80 minutes of production. I don't even need it. We're not even close to... Geothermal plus nuclear is going to be like... About 25 gigawatts. It looks like 24 gigawatts, I guess. So... We're not going to need nuclear for a long time, but it was kind of fun to mess around with it. Just to see what all the steps are. Honestly, I recommend doing stuff like this. Um, I'm going to take this loops out. But I recommend doing stuff like this when you're trying to get your bearings on new recipes. It really helps you kind of... I mean, you make sure you understand all the steps. Make sure you understand what gets hooked up to what. Make sure you know what the inputs are. Kind of just setting up a janky version makes it a lot easier later. But yeah, there you go. So we're going to call that the end of the episode. For those of you on YouTube from the future, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about our uh, janky nuclear setup. And I will see you all in the next episode.